God is doing a new thing. And I'm excited to share this word with you and to release this glory nugget, this glory word over your life. Who here knows that there are seasons where our faith must increase. In fact, I believe our faith must increase in this season more than ever before. And if you're not in faith, you're of course in the flesh. If you're not in faith, of course you are in fear. If you're not in faith, that means you are in yourself. And the one who is in faith, we truly do go from glory to glory. Abasa, we truly do increase on all sides in every season. For the Bible says, those who are rooted, planted in the Lord, that their leaves shall never wither. Their fruit will always be born. And they'll always stay fresh, stay strong, and be alive in the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? Debbie, good to see you, Grand Junction. Our Grand Junction Colorado family is in the house. Hallelujah. Continue to build the room and the algorithm. Rebeba Rio Rancho, God bless you. Sharaba Kimberly, good to see you. Pastor Sharon, good to see you. Rebe Sete, let your friends know. Dr. Pastor Benlam is in the house. And I'm broadcasting live from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm excited to talk with you, to talk to you to release this word and its anointing over your life. In fact, many of you are already walking in this anointing. Amen. Can I talk to you? Many of you are already walking in this anointing, but it must be activated to another level, to a higher dimension. If you're with me today, say amen. So I want to stir you up. I want to release faith. I want to release this realm over your life because I believe we are truly in a season of the double portion. Someone say amen. Hello, there's Skip from Orlando. Zambia, bless you. Yakwe, Yakwe. Saw some of my Marshallese family. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Sheraba Karabra. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Si Karabra. Hello, Tamitha Taylor. Amen. My goodness. So help us to build the room and the atmosphere. I feel the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for the fire of God, for the glory of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders. This is our portion. Father, I ask you that every single person who is connected to the sound of my voice, that they would receive the anointing of the double. They would step into the realm of the double. And Lord, I thank you for the fire of God that's present. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Ibarakarobosa. Let your word come to pass and let your word be done in the name of Jesus. And all of God's people say amen. Amen and amen. Kevin Bowers, hello from Tulsa. Did you know I'm in Tulsa now? And tonight, our tent revival goes up in Tulsa. Tonight, tomorrow, Saturday night at Dreamkeepers Park. So we hope to see you. Invite your friends. It's going to be glorious. God has been moving so powerfully. Thank you, Cynthia. Hope to see you and Ron soon. At least in Albuquerque. Amen. Well, glory be to God. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. I'm so excited to talk with you. My goodness, people of God, I feel such a stirring. I feel so excited and so stirred. And you know what? There's so much God is doing. Whew. Oh my goodness, there's so much that God is doing. It's almost like a pinch me, am I dreaming type of season. Because God is moving so phenomenally. And all the glory goes to Jesus. And I'm very encouraged to see fellow believers, men and women of God, increasing in the glory, increasing in Jesus' name. But I want to prophesy over you. Because I believe the second half of 2023, you're going to see double portion, double the miracles, Double the glory, double the financial increase, double the harvest, double the souls being saved. In fact, of course, last year, we did a Route 66 revival. However, this year, we're believing we're, we're going to hit the triple amount of salvations from last year. We we're already at, yesterday to today, yesterday we saw six souls saved at a house meeting. And today, during evangelism, our team saw two souls saved. So that's eight in the last 24 hours. And I believe tonight, we're going to be seeing way more souls saved even this weekend. 
But already, our soul count, I believe we're at 118 in the last two weeks. Can I get some praise? Or the last two and a half weeks. We're at 118. So I believe by the end of this month, we're not only going to double, but we're going to triple the amount of soul saved during Route 66 revival across the highway of the Mother Road, across Route 66 Highway, across America. If you're with me, say amen. But I believe there is an opportunity for you and I to go into the glory, to step into the realm of the double portion. Even now, we just hit 8888, double new beginnings. I believe we are in a season where we're going to step into a realm of the double portion. But I want to release faith to you. And I want to release this word of impartation over your life. Because I believe we are in a season where the anointing of the double is coming over you. Someone say amen. Have you been experiencing warfare? Have you been experiencing some backlash, some difficulty, some trial? Well, let me tell you, friends, I want to encourage you that the second half of this year is going to be far greater, superior, more glorious than even the first half. Now, isn't that incredible? Because some of you, you've been experiencing some mega breakthroughs. That's you saying that. Listen, our ministry, our life, we've been seeing great increase. All the glory goes to Jesus. And already up to now, We've been seeing God move so powerfully in America and Korea, all across the earth. Hallelujah. And all the glory goes to Jesus. But I believe in the second half of 2023, you're going to see double. Someone say double. The realm of the double is opened over us. So do you want to step in? Do you want to step into the realm of the double portion, the realm of the double, double? Amen. Now, some people say, you know, I don't just want a double portion. I want it all. Well, of course you could have the fullness. Of course you could have it all. But you know what? It's a process and it's a progress. It is progressive. Um, but I believe that there is a realm of the double that God's going to release over you. And I want to talk to you about that anointing of the double portion. Because some people are only receiving single portions. However, those who have faith, eyes to see and ears to hear. The Lord can give you double in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you're with me today, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Somebody say hallelujah. Now, first and foremost, I want to go over, glory be to God, to Isaiah 61 verse 7. All right. These are a key verse here. But today I'm going to review a number of verses, scriptures throughout the Bible to talk to you about the anointing of the double. Because like I said, I believe the realm of the double portion is not for everybody, okay? It is not for everybody. You think the realm of the double portion is for everybody, but it's not, I'm sorry. The realm of the double portion is for the faithful. It's for the hungry, I feel the Lord. It's for those that are truly worthy of being promoted into the next level. Truly worthy of stepping up into a higher glory dimension realm in the name of Jesus. Now here, let's go to the Bible. Now give us some hearts and likes and do share this. Help me to break the 100 and then help me to break the 150. Amen. Now let's go to this verse here today. Amen. Isaiah 61 verse 7. You know this passage. Instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Woo, my goodness. Someone say amen. Instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in their lot. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess a double portion and they shall have everlasting joy. Now, if you receive that, say, I receive it. Now, if you receive that word, say, amen. So instead of your shame, here's the Lord. God begins to speak about the Isaiah 61 anointing. And what is that? The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me, has anointed me to preach good news, to set the captives free, to bind up the brokenhearted, to declare it is the favorable year of the Lord. And as that chapter, as a prophetic decree continues, the prophet begins to prophesy the word of the Lord. Instead of your shame, they shall receive a double portion. Now let's go deeper here. Instead of your dishonor, you shall rejoice in your lot. In your lot of what? The lot of double portion. And in your land, you shall possess a double portion, you shall have everlasting joy. Now, you need to rejoice. And you need to shout hallelujah. And give us some hearts and likes 
if you receive this prophetic word in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, what is this talking about? Instead of your shame. Now, a lot of people, they're down, they're oppressed, they're feeling sad, feeling miserable, etc., etc. Instead of your shame, you receive a double portion. Why? Because shame equates emptiness. Let me repeat that again. Shame equates nothing. To have shame in your life, it means there's emptiness, there is a void, there's an absence, there is a lack. And of course, the spirit of lack is destroyed off of our lives. Amen. So instead of your lack, you will have a double portion. Come on. Which means you go from zero to double. You go from nothing to double. Which means you go from being empty to having double. Can I get an amen? Now, have you ever gone to a restaurant or maybe you ordered something from the counter and you ordered? And uh, imagine you have no money. You have no money to to buy a happy meal, no money to buy a number one, no money to buy a double, double animal style. But all of a sudden you have no money. And then somebody comes right behind you and says, I want to get you two of everything. I want to get you two of that. Come on, somebody. You got no money. You got no honey. You, you empty, you broke. And somebody suddenly comes to you and says, I want to get you two of what you desire. Come on, somebody. Who here knows that God goes above and beyond. Who here knows that God loves to do things with an exclamation point? The Lord loves to bless you in front of all your enemies. He loves to shock your enemies. He loves to shock and to surprise and to amaze. That is a wonder working God above and beyond our imagination. All you can ask, think, or imagine. Can I get an amen? And so the Lord suddenly comes forth and he says, I want to give you double of everything. Not just one, but double. Can I get a hallelujah? Now, the Lord is such an extravagant, lavishing God, such a lavishing Father, that He's saying, instead of your nakedness, instead of your barrenness, instead of your emptiness, I'm going to give you double because that is not only restoration, but that is recompense. That is payback. That is the extra cherry on top. That is the extra dessert. That is the extra cream on a cake. And the Lord is such a good, lavishing father. And he says, I'm going to give you double of whatever you desire. Someone say amen. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess a double port. I feel the Lord. My goodness. Come on, help me to preach this. Help me to minister this and to release this over your life. In Jesus' name. You shall receive a double portion, which means that you're going to have the best of everything. You're going to have the best of the land. You're going to have the best of your whole family. You're going to be the best, have the best, wear the best, eat the best, dress the best. You're going to be the best in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that and receive it, say amen. So instead of your emptiness, God is going to give you a double portion, which means you go from zero to hero. You go from zero to double. You go from nothing to having an abundance. Are you ready for God to shock you? Why? Because once again, it's not just about restoration but it is about recompense. It's not just about restoring what was lost, taken or stolen, but it's about paying back. It's about having extra, someone say extra. It's about having extra for all the pain, the suffering, the delay, the lack, the warfare, the attacks that you've experienced. Now, if you receive that, say amen. So I believe right now we're in a season of double. And why am I sharing this? Because so far, our Route 66 revival is experiencing double portions. Can I get an amen? Double portions in terms of finances, healings, miracles, salvations, souls. I mean, we are seeing a double portion in our ministry right now. And I believe the second half of 2023, come on somebody, it's gonna be double of what you've experienced up to this month. You are gonna experience double glory double miracles, double harvest. You're going to experience double salvations, double fire, double Jesus. Come on. You're going to experience double portions of the magnificent, majestic presence of God. If you receive it, say amen. Someone say, preach Dr. Ben. So I believe we're in a season where God is opening up the realm of the double. And once again, not everybody will step into the realm of the double. Not everybody will receive the anointing of the double. Can I talk to you today? Some of your haters are not going to receive double. Some of those in your family, those who doubted you, those who did not believe you, those who tried to come against you, they're not going to receive the double. But you are going to receive the double portion 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, if you're ready to receive that, I want you to say amen, hallelujah. Now, let's go to another verse. Someone say double. Someone say hallelujah. Come on, give some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Now, let's go to another verse. I love this passage. Job 42, verse 10. Have you been experiencing a Job season? Have you been experiencing a Job season? Suffering, betrayal, backstabbing, Judas spirits. People have deserted you. People have sold you out for 30 coins, 30 shekels. They're not people of their word. They're not people of character. Come on, somebody. Have you been experiencing a Job season? Well, here, Job 42, verse 10. The Bible says the Lord turned a captivity oof, of Job when he prayed for his friends. I need you to hear that. When Job prayed for his friends, it was only then. There it is. That's the prerequisite. That is the condition of you receiving your double. Can I get hallelujah? Only when you're able to bless your enemies. Only when you're able to bless those who cursed you. Only when your heart is so filled with life, love, forgiveness, where your heart is free from the spirit of offense. Only when Job prayed for his friends, the Bible says the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Some would say twice as much. I want to prophesy. You're going to have twice as much as you did before. Come on, somebody. I need you to boast in the Lord. I need you to clap your hands. I need you to get bunk wild in the Holy Ghost because the Lord wants to give you twice as much from what you had before. Come on. Double honor for your shame. Double portion for all the locusts have eaten, for all the years of the smears and all the years where your peers took advantage of you. Good to see you, Prophet Sebastian. Love you, my friend. The Lord turned the captivity of Job. And when Job prayed for his friends, shoo, for his enemies, for his frenemies, when Job prayed for those who secretly cursed him and came against him, and tried to deviate him from the destiny of God, the plans of God, from God's perfect will. Only then did God give Job twice as much. Are you ready for two times? Are you ready for twice as much? Are you ready for the double-double? Come on, somebody. I need you to shout double in this Holy Ghost place. Because I believe God is about to give you twice as much. Don't cry over an opportunity that was lost. Don't cry about a door that was closed. My goodness, God sits in the heavens and he laughs at his enemies. <laughs> God is about to give you twice as much. Stop shedding a tear for what you lost. Because in fact, that was a seed for a twice as much anointing, for a twice as much harvest that's about to come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it and receive it, I want to say amen. Listen, open heaven's world. Get ready to receive twice as much. Sarah Chetty. Ola Ken Richard Okaladun, Karen Arbiter, Sherry, get ready to receive double, twice as much from the hand of God. Why? Because the realm of double is open. The anointing of double is here for those who are able to turn their cheek, forgive their frenemies, release the spirit of offense, pray for those and bless you, their enemies, and to break that curse off. I break the curse off of your life in Jesus' name. Some would say it's broken. Some would say it's finished in Jesus' mighty name. If you receive it, say amen. So Job received twice as much. But of course, Job had to experience some hardships. You already know the story of Job. Job had to experience some hardships. He had to experience some backlash. He had to experience some haterade. However, the Lord gave Job twice as much. Let me ask you, is it worth it? Is Jesus worth it? Is the Holy Ghost worth it? The Lord is about to give you twice as much. If you stay put, stay rooted, planted, grounded, if you stay faithful to the word of the Lord, for truly every word that God has spoken will come to pass. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. Now, friends of God, help me to break the 150 mark today in Jesus' name. If you're receiving from the mouth of the Lord, if you're receiving from the servant of God, I want you to say amen. Give us some hearts and likes, share this on your wall, tag somebody, and help me to break the 150 mark today in Jesus' name. Job received twice as much. Are you ready for a twice as much anointing? If you're ready to receive that, say amen. Now, I love this other passage here. Praise God. 
We're going into the Bible today, amen, as we always do. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 5. I love the story of Hannah. I love the story of Samuel. 1 Samuel 1, 5. But to Hannah, Elkanah gave double portion because he loved her, though the Lord had closed her womb. Somebody say favor ain't fair. And let me talk to you. Because the womb of Hannah was closed, Elkanah, her husband, gave Hannah a double portion. Double portion of what? Finances, food, provision, supply, even love. Elkanah, the husband, gave Hannah a double portion. Now we know Hannah's womb was closed. Hannah could not conceive. Hannah cannot give birth to a baby. She tried and she tried and she tried. And in her misery, there were miscarriages. In her misery, there were failed attempts. In her misery, there was shame. There was sadness. There was sorrow in the misery. And Hannah began to cry out to the Lord. And of course, you know the story. God gave Hannah a son and eventually became the prophet Samuel. Now, why is this important? Because once again, favor ain't fair. Not only will God give you double, but he will give you the desires of your heart. Hannah received double, but she also received double from the Lord himself. Come on, somebody. She received double from God himself. Not only did she receive double from her husband, Elkanah, but she also received double from the Lord himself. Why is that? Because she did not, hear me now, she did not receive an ordinary son. She did not receive an average child. She received a prophet of God. She received a prophet of the Most High. Come on, somebody, give us some hearts and likes. Not only did she receive a son, but she received a man of God. She received a prophet that would prepare for the greatest kingdom of the golden era, the golden age that Israel and the world has ever seen. So much out, hallelujah. Not only will God bless you, but once again, he will do it with an exclamation point. There may be a delay, but it does not mean it's a denial. There may be a delay, but it is for something. God is working something out in your favor for your double portion, for your inheritance, for your future. God is working out something good. Amen. God is good and he's working out something good. The devil is a bad devil and God is a good God. And God is working out something better. Some would say better. It's part of the anointing or the covenant of better things. So God is giving you a double portion. And as we see in the story of Hannah, come on, somebody, how many break the 150 today? As we see in the story of Hannah, Elkanah gave her a double portion. But Hannah said, Lord, my God, this is not what I want. God gave Hannah a double portion. Her son was not only an astounding and outstanding man, but he was also a prophet, a man of God. He stepped into a tremendous office that restored, help restore, bring honor and dignity to the whole kingdom of Israel. If you're with me today, say amen. God's about to give you a double portion. Hannah received a double portion. God has heard your cries. God has heard your prayers. The Lord has seen your tears, the shedding of your tears, the breaking of your heart, Rebbe, the sadness of your soul. And the Lord gave Hannah a double portion. Are you ready to receive a double portion today? If you're ready to receive, someone say amen. Now let's take it a little bit further. I'm going to give you, hallelujah, one last verse here. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. If you're receiving now, I want you to say hallelujah. I want to give you another verse here, hallelujah. And of course, it's the famous passage. When Elijah said to Elisha, ask what shall I do for you? Some would say, ask, ask, what shall I do for you before I'm taken away, before I depart, before I leave this earth? What shall I do? And Elisha said, please, let there be a double portion of your spirit on my life. Second Kings 2.9. Elisha cries out for a double portion. He says, I don't just want the same, hear me now. I do not just want the same amount that everybody else is getting. I want more. I want the more. I want the unusual. I want the extraordinary, the supernatural, the miraculous. I want the more. I want the double portion. I'm not satisfied with everybody at Jesus. I'm not satisfied 
with everyone's relationship with you. I want more. I want to go beyond the veil into the Holy of Holies. I want to rest and dwell in between the Ark of the Cherubim. I want to be in the glory cloud. I want more. I'm not satisfied with what I have now in my life. I'm not satisfied with Sister Sue and Sue and Brother Boo and Boo, but I want more. I want the, I want a double portion. Hallelujah. I want to see more than what my spiritual father Elijah saw. I want to see more than what the general saw. Catherine Coleman, Amy Sibu McPherson, Reinhard Bonnke. I want to see more. And Elisha had the audacity to say, give me a double portion of your spirit. It's not enough. I'm worthy. I'm hungry. Hey, I want it all. I need more, man of God, woman of God. I need more. I want more of you, Jesus. Does anybody feel hungry for the glory of God? Listen, I pray that revival will ruin you today in Jesus' name. I pray the Holy Ghost will ruin you for the ordinary. That normal and regular and average would be a thing of your past. But that you will live in the realm of the double-double, of the double portion. Elisha cried out, my father, my father, give me a double portion of all that you have. Come on, somebody. Now, let me ask you this question. Do you think, come on somebody, let me ask you this question. Oh, I feel the Lord right now. Jesus, let me ask you this question. What is honoring to a man, woman, of God? What is honoring? All right, now let me ask you this. If you approach a multimillionaire and you ask them, I don't know, for $60, $600, you approach a multimillionaire and you ask them for a little weasel, measle bit of crumbs. Do you think that is, honoring or that is a slap in the face if you approach a multimillionaire, a funder a grantor if you approach a multimillionaire, what is honoring come on somebody someone say preach talk to man what's honoring is that you go big is that you ask for more What's honoring is that you catch their attention, you catch their faith. Remember, there were two types of people where Jesus was amazed by, he was undone by, he was shocked by. There's two types of people in the Gospels, and it was those who were filled with faith and those who had no faith. Those were the two types of people, classes of people that caught the attention of Jesus. Those who had no faith and those who had a radical faith. Some say radical faith. It's time to pray radical prayers. It's time to have radical faith. It's time to have radical vision. It's time to believe God for the more. Come on, y'all making me sweat in this Holy Ghost place. It's time for believe God for the more. So what is more honorable? To come before a king, come before a multimillionaire, a billionaire and to come before a mega funder and to only ask for a measly, weasley bit of crumbs. Listen, that is a waste of your time. Can I get an amen? You are wasting your time. You're wasting that divine opportunity. You're wasting that Kairos where you're wasting what is before you. Do not waste what you have access to. My goodness, I don't say preach Dr. Ben. Do not waste what you have access to. All right, come on, somebody. If, if all you need is a little bit of finances, then you know what? You can ask your mama. But if you need some mega financing, then you better go ask Merrill Lynch, JP Morgan. You better go ask the big donors, the big sharks, the big whales. Can I get an amen? God is saying, do not waste your access. Do not waste, shoo, do not waste the time of a king. In fact, you're never going to have time with a king if you have measly, weasley little prayers, you will only have a scheduled appointed time with a king if it is worth their while. Make it worth their while. And here is Elisha. Elisha honored, I believe Elisha. Oof. Elisha honored his spiritual father's mentor, Elijah, and said, give me a double portion. I'm not like the rest. I'm not like those other minions. I'm not like those other followers. I'm not like those fake book followers. I'm not like the rest. Come on, somebody. Give me more. Give me some. Come on. I am worthy. I know you. I see you. I know your heart. I want to carry your legacy. Or how about this? I want to carry your babies. Come on, somebody. I want to have your babies. I want to carry your legacy. And Elisha says, give me more. I'm not like the rest. I'm not like those Phony balloon. I'm not like those wheezy media. She got, I want more. Someone say more. And Elisha had the audacity to honor his spiritual father, prophet Elijah, and to say, give me more. 
I want the more of God. Do you want the more of heaven? I feel the Holy Baba. Do you want the more of heaven? My goodness. Do you want the more of Jesus? The Lord wants to give you so much more than what you already have. I believe it's time for the double. But you need radical faith. You need a radical faith in the Lord, in yourself. Because you need to believe. Hear me now. You need to believe that you're worthy of the double. Other people may say, you're not worthy, Pastor Ben, Dr. Ben, you're not worthy. You're not, who are you? You need to believe in yourself that you are worthy of the double portion. You need to believe. Once again, God is a generous God. The eyes of the Lord search to and fro all across the earth, looking for a heart that truly, he wants to bless. He want, he, he's looking for audacious, crazy, groundbreaking, heaven shaking, attention getting. He wants to see that type of radical faith. It's called the anointing of the double. And I believe right now there's a realm opened up in the spirit where God is saying, do you believe God for the double? Are you believing for the double? Do you want the double? Do you want, or do you just want single? Do you want what everybody else has? Come on, so who am I talking? If I'm talking to you, say you're talking to me. Give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. God is looking for people that are saying, I'm ready for the more of God. I, I need more, I need more of Jesus. I'm not satisfied with the status quo. I'm not satisfied with what I have right now. I'm not satisfied with all that's going on. I want to see more souls saved, more miracles, more glory. I want to be more drunk in the Holy Ghost. I want to be more on fire for God. Come on, you have not even seen the best of Dr. Ben Lynn. You have not even seen the best of the church. Come on, somebody. You have not even seen the best of what God has for his believers. Come on. My Bible says the glory goes from glory to glory, one level to another. So from the beginning of the Bible, come on somebody, that was the platform, not the ceiling. That was a launching pad, not your ceiling. The book of Acts was not finished at the end of the book of Acts. It was just the beginning. Come on, we're going to see. Jesus said, greater things you will do in my name. Greater things you will do in the name of Jesus. If, if that's you, say amen. God wants you to believe for the anointing of the double. But you must be hungry. You must believe. You must cry out. You must step faith. And I prophesy that the second half of 2023, my God, I feel the fire of God. The second half of 2023, this second half, there's going to be double of what God has for you. God is saying, believe for more. Believe for more. Come on, stretch your faith. Believe for more. God is saying, believe for more. The second half of 2023, the Spirit of God is wanting to endow, impart, give to you the anointing, the impartation of the double portion. If you receive that, say amen. Rachel, come on somebody, Rachel received. The Bible says, excuse me, Hannah received double from the Lord. Are you ready to receive double in the mighty name of Jesus? Not only did you receive a son, but you received the prophet of God. Some say preach, Dr. Ben. Not only did she receive a son, she received the prophet of the Lord God most time. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Attach your faith with mine. Attach your faith with this word because I believe we are in a season of the anointing of the double portion. I'm not satisfied. I'm not happy. God, what's going on in my life right now? It's awesome. Glory be to God. But I'm not happy. I know there's more. I'm not satisfied. Shaka. I'm not satisfied with what is... There's more. Someone say amen. Now, friends of God, it's incredible. Even today, I'm beginning to work on a new book, okay? Of course, you already know, if you've been following me, I turn out my manuscript for The Lost Art of Honor, my book on honor that's, cho that's published, signed with Chosen Baker Publishing. And today, I began to work on my new book. Someone say new book. Come on, somebody. I began to work on my new book. Come on, somebody. I feel like I'm slapping the devil today. My goodness. Today, I began to work on my new book. And his new book is about the prophetic, okay? I'm, I'm writing a new book on the prophetic. And of course, uh, I, I'm going around uh, possible book titles. And the possible book title is Millennial Prophets Arise. Millennial Prophets Arise. Other book titles, The Theology of the Prophets. Other book titles, The Anatomy of the Prophet. But we're working on these books. We are working on new CDs. 
in the month of July, I'm recording two albums with Steve Swanson in a music studio, recording studio in Hawaii. Come on, somebody. You need to believe for more. You need to crowd because there's destiny scrolls being released. There are scrolls, downloads, uploads, revelations, rhemas. There are prophecies. There's things being released. Creative realms, ideas, intellectual properties, ideas that can change the world. Ideas that will break the spirit of poverty, break the spirit of world hunger. There are ideas scrolls and mantles that are up for grabs that God is releasing on the planet. Can I get an amen? But you need to believe God for more. The anointing of the double. I believe God is going to sh surprise you, is going to shock you, is going to silence your enemies. Who here knows that when you are blessed, that means the devil will lose. When God blesses a child, that means a dev the devil loses more ground. When, because God takes back what the enemy stole and he gives it to his children. That means one ground won is one ground lost for the devil. One soul won for Jesus is another soul that the devil lost. Can I get an amen? So we're in a season where God has said, I want to transfer. I want to give you. I want to bless you. I want to impart. I want to open up the heaven. I want to bless you like never before. But you need to believe that there is an anointing for the double. Because like I said, one, once again, not everybody will receive the double portion. Not everybody is worthy of the double portion. Not everybody is worthy. So let's talk about the condition for receiving the anointing of the double. Someone say double. If you're ready to receive today, I want you to say amen. If you have been receiving up to now, I want to say hallelujah. Pray to the Holy Ghost. So number one, the first condition of receiving the anointing of the double is of course faith. Someone say faith. You need to believe. God is a limitless God. Earlier today, I was listening to my pastor, Pastor Benny, preach. And in this word, he was sharing that the, the flesh has an end. But the life of the spirit is endless, is a limitless. So you need to believe, number one, God is an abundant God. He's a limitless, endless God. Hey, Baba. So number one, you need to have faith. Some say faith. All right. If you want to receive the anointing of the double, you need to have faith. Number two, you need to have hunger. Someone say hunger. You need to have hunger. What does that mean? That means you are dissatisfied with the status quo. You are not satisfied. Come on. The Bible says Hannah received a double portion from Elkanah, but she was not satisfied with worldly double portions, with materialistic double portions. She was not satisfied with earthly sustenance. She wanted heavenly fire, heavenly glory, heavenly blessing, heavenly account. She wanted the riches and the rewards of heaven. Can I get amen? So number two, she had a hunger and the Lord, of course, blessed her with a son. And that son was not an average, normal, regular, usual type of son. That son, Ibaba, became a servant and a prophet of the Lord God Most High. Someone say amen. Someone say double. If you want to receive the anointing of the double, number one, you must have faith. Number two, you must have hunger. Someone say hallelujah. Just like Elisha. I love the story of Elisha. Elisha did not relent. He did not give up. All the other prophets were saying, you be quiet, sit down. You should be happy. Stop bothering the prophet. Stop bothering the man of God. You should just be quiet on your seat. Just be regular. Just be average. Be under the religious spirit. Just be grateful that you have what you have. But the prophet Elisha said, I know there's more. I'm going to go in until I get all that I know is available for me. Once again, do not waste your access. I need somebody to comment that. Do not waste your access. Do not waste your opportunity. And in the name of Jesus, some of you are treating your men and women of God too familiar. You're treating your situation too familiar. Cha! Do not waste your access. So number two is hunger. The third condition for you to receive the anointing of the double portion is, of course, honor. Some would say honor. You honor the Lord. You honor his word. You honor his prophets. You honor the vessels. Elisha knew, hear me now. Elisha knew the way to the double 
was through as a man of God. So I was at preach doctor Ben. Elisha knew the way to his double was through as a man of God. Elisha knew the way to receive the double portion was through his prophet, through his pastor, through, through his uh, woman of God, through the man of God, through the office of the Lord. Elisha honored the office. Elisha honored the mantle, the man of God, and therefore he honored, therefore he received double. You cannot receive from what you do not honor. You cannot receive double from what you do not honor. You cannot receive double from what you do not honor. And Elisha honored the man of God and he received double portions. Are you ready to receive double portions in the name of Jesus? If you're ready to receive, say amen. And the third prerequisite or condition to receiving the anointing of the double, it is honor. Someone say honor. Hallelujah. You must honor the fathers and mothers generals. You must honor the pioneers, the ones that's paved the way, the ones that are ahead of you, the ones that paid the price. Because the anointing of the double is always transferred. It's always imparted. It is always generational. It always is passed down from glory to glory, generation to generation. If you're with me today, say amen. Now, number four, the fourth condition, hallelujah, or the fourth prerequisite for you to receiving double, amen. For you to receiving double, it is proximity. I want to say proximity. Now, what does that mean? That means you must be close. That means you must be near. If you want to receive the anointing of the double, you need to be around people who at least have the single, who at least do what you want to do. How are you going to become better at something if you are not surrounded with people who are better than you? How are you going to become better at something if you are not around people who are already doing what you want to do? If you want more, if you want the double, if you want to become greater, if you want to increase, then you must surround yourself with the right people. So it's proximity. Say proximity. Nearness. Closeness. Can I get an amen? I, I always know whenever the Lord connects me with a prophet, man, woman, a God, a general of the faith, it means that I'm getting closer to the Lord in a sense. I need you to hear this. Whenever God opens up a door, it means you are in progressive forward movement and motion. Whenever God connects you, it means that you are receiving a portion or a, uh, uh, a fabric of his heart. You're receiving a portion of his heart. You're encountering the Lord. So it's about proximity. I want to be around people who have breakthrough. I don't want to be around losers and sore losers and complainers and naggers and naysayers and drainers and, and gossipers. I want to be around people who are preaching the word of God, who have fire in their bones, fire in their mouth, who have faith in their eyes. I want to be around people that are slaying giants, slaying demons. I want to be around people that are moving forward. So it's about proximity. So when you are around and your inner circle is filled with movers and shakers, fire breathers, fire starters, revivalists, then that means that you are on the roadmap to double. Someone say double. The anointing of the double. God brings you close so that he can launch you in the mighty name of Jesus. So number one, faith. Does anybody believe? Number two, hunger. Hannah cried out to God. Hallelujah. Number three, amen. Number three, it is honor. Number four, it is proximity. And number five, the fifth condition prerequisite, come on somebody, of receiving the double, it is humility. Someone say amen. It's humility. Why humility? Because only when Job prayed for his friends, he received twice as much. Hear me now. Your twice as much anointing is directly connected and related to your humility. Only when Job prayed for his friends, only when Job prayed for his enemies, only when Job blessed those who secretly cursed him and blessed those who secretly came again, only when Job was able to turn the other cheek was God able to bless him with double or twice as much. Someone say amen. Somebody say humility. Instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in their lots. Therefore, in their land, they shall receive, possess a double portion, and they shall have everlasting joy. Someone say amen. Humility. 
Did you bless? Do, do you have a pure heart? Do you have a clean slate? Is your conscience clear? Are you clean and pure before God? Is your heart clean? Are your hands clean? Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Those that have clean hands and a pure heart. Is your heart clean? Amen. Are you free in the name of Jesus? And I believe in the season, God is in belief for double. Listen, I need you to hear this. I prophesy by the end of 2023, you are going to see double portion blessings in the second half of this year. The second half of 2023, believe, expect double glory, double fire, double miracles, double revival, double the soul, expect double opportunity, double doors to open, double, expect double and nothing less. Do not be satisfied. Do not be, thank God for where you're at and what you have, but do not be satisfied with what God is about to do. If you receive it today, say amen. Now I want you to lift up your hands and begin to pray aloud in the Holy Ghost. Come on, begin to pray aloud in the Holy Ghost. Jesus is about to release the anointing of the double. The anointing of the double. Which means when God is about to bless, he doesn't bless you with one tunic. He blesses you with two tunics. He blesses you with two, double, even more. Jesus. I need you to pray a lot in the Holy Ghost. My goodness, I wish I had a shoe to throw across the room. Because the fire of God is all across this broadcast. I pray that those who desire a double portion, lift up your hands and receive this faith, this prayer, this fire prayer, this fire decree. Because it's time for your shame to turn into double honor. It's time for your warfare to turn into double joy. It's time for your lack to turn into double portion. It's time for your emptiness to turn into double glory. Someone say double. Lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you. Let the anointing of the double, let it overcome and overtake your children. I pray that by the end of this year, you will see double exponential results by the end of 2023. I break off every lie, every limitation, every backlash, every attack, every warfare. Spirit of depression, spirit of delay, discouragement, despair. I break you in the mighty name of and I release the fire of God. And I release the anointing of the double to overtake and overwhelm your people. If you receive it today, I want you to shout hallelujah and give the Lord a mighty clap. Give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Someone say the anointing of the double. If you receive this word today, I want you to say I receive it. If you believe this word to be true today, I want you to say amen. The anointing of the double portion. Once again, not everybody will receive the double. Some will only receive single. You know what? Some will not even receive single. They'll receive nothing. Some will receive nothing. But those who have eyes to see, ears to hear, those who have faith in Jesus, there is the opportunity and the realm, the anointing for you to receive double. Someone say amen. If you believe it, say hallelujah. If you receive it, say amen. Say I receive it and I release that realm. Because in the second half of 2023, Jesus is going to shock you, surprise you, amaze you. My goodness, as the word of God says in the book of Job, my ears have heard of you, but now my eyes have seen. Surely I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I will see the goodness of Jesus in the land of the living. Are you ready to see with your eyes Cha! all that God has promised, provided, and prepared for you? Do you believe it? Believe it or not, here he comes. Ready or not, here he comes. Are you ready to receive the double? If you're ready to receive the double, I want you to say amen. Double portions in the second half of 2023. 
Because the Lord loves to end a thing with an exclamation point. The Lord loves to end a thing, end a year in a high glory moment. He, he's just that type of God. Can I get an amen? He's that my king, my God, my Jesus is that type of God. Hallelujah. The glory of the latter half will be greater than the former. If you receive it, say amen. Hallelujah. If you receive it now, say hallelujah. I want you to give me some hearts and likes in this place. Praise God. And if you receive today, I want you to say amen. If you believe it, say amen. Hallelujah. Now, once again, I'm here in Tulsa. I'm here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we're doing 10 revivals tonight, tomorrow night. Amen. And even Saturday night. Three nights of revival. You can see us at Route66Revival.com. Dot US, excuse me. But in this moment, if you believe that this is the word of the Lord, if you receive from the man of God, I want you to sow a seed in this atmosphere. I would be doing you harm if I did not open up a time for you to bless God and to bless the Lord and this ministry. I would be doing you a disservice if I did not open up an opportunity for you to sow a seed into this word, amen. Listen, I don't need your money. I need you to obey God. I need you to catch this. I need you to be spiritual, not carnal. I need you to be spiritual and not carnal, amen. I want you to sow a seed, amen. And I want you to believe God for the double in this season, in the second half of 2023. Do you believe God, amen? Now put your money where your mouth is. Sow a seed, bless the Lord. Have faith, praise God. And see what God does. As you are in this atmosphere of revival, as you are connected to this atmosphere of faith, and may you receive the anointing for the double. Like I said, not everybody will receive the double. But those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, may you be worthy to receive the double. Amen? That is what I want you to do. I want you to comment double, praise God. I want you to comment double if you sow a seed or if you commit yourself to sow a seed. If you believe that this is a true word, I want you to sow. If you, if you don't believe, if you don't receive, that's all good. But I want you to comment double as you're sowing a seed, blessing the Lord, honoring God, his prophetic voice, his mouthpiece. And I want you to comment double as you sow in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I'll call out your name in agreement. Praise God. Felidia, God bless you. Amen. Fidelia, God bless you. Cece, God bless you. Didi, God bless you. Fire of God. Thank you, Lord. Heather, God bless you. Babette, God bless you. Vanessa, God bless you. Amen. Late night DG, God bless you. Abalon, God bless you. Chriselle, God bless you. Hallelujah. Marilyn, God bless you. Kenny, God bless you. Candace, God bless you. I feel the fire of God. Amen. Jesus. Mel, God bless you. Amy, God bless you. Lindsay, God bless you. Jesus, thank you. Yolanda, God bless you. Becky Weaver, God bless you. Miss you, friend, dearly. Jesus. Shola, God bless you. Or said, hey, Chola, are you a Cholita? Davidson, Doris, God bless you. Amen. Come on, as you sow, comment double if you believe that this is a word from the Lord. Providence Ivana, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Kenny, God bless you. Thank you, Father. Rebereba. Tyler, God bless you, my friend. Chris Ranger, God bless you. Pastor Sharon, God bless you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Susan, God bless you. Now, like I said, I would be doing you a disservice if I did not open up a time for you to bless God for this word and to come in agreement in Jesus' name. Amen. Christina, God bless you. Shara Baba Sata. Leticia, if you would like to do that, 
please email us at admin at benlamglobal.com. Prophet Zalana, God bless you. Amen, amen. Keep it flowing, my friends. Someone say double. The anointing of the double. The anointing of the double portion is upon us. If you believe it, say amen. Glory be to God. Shut up, Abarata. Now, friends, keep me, keep us in prayers because we start our tent revivals here in Tulsa, the home of Or Roberts, the home of Kenneth Hagan, of the Word of Faith movement. And one of the greatest, the movement of faith, in a sense, started here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Come on. So God is so good. And I'm believing for double for you, for your life in this season. Hallelujah. Now, friends, lift up your hands. Lord, thank you for the power of God. Bless your children. Cha! And I thank you for the suddenness of God to overtake them in Jesus' mighty name. And all of God's people say amen. Jamie, God bless you. Thank you so much. Now, friends of God, um, this Monday, June 19th, this Monday, I am doing a free Zoom webinar. All right, you don't want to miss this. Oh, it's going to be powerful. It is titled The Realm of Suddenlies, okay? This Monday, June 19th, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. I am doing a free Zoom webinar. I have not done a Zoom webinar in about two months. Now, I miss my Zoom in our family. Absolutely. Of course, I've been busy. But on Monday, June 19th, I'm doing a free Zoom webinar. All you have to do is click the link below and that's pinned to the top and register, okay? But I'm gonna talk about the realm of suddenlies, how to step into your suddenly moment, how to discern a suddenly season, okay? It's gonna be very powerful. We're gonna believe for delay, backlash, to be destroyed off of your life. The realm of suddenlies, and I would love to see you. This is June 19th, Monday, next, this coming Monday. Literally in about five days from now, June 19, Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. The realm of suddenlies, amen, and it's absolutely free, absolutely free. So if you are joining, I want you to say, I'm joining, amen. And do consider sharing on your wall. Do consider inviting a friend because this Zoom webinar, uh, it's gonna be powerful. It's gonna be powerful. Don't miss it. Don't miss it, amen. So God bless you, friends. I love you. Hope to see you Monday for our Zoom webinar as I teach, talk, impart to you about the realm of suddenlies. The realm of suddenlies. Suddenly, you'll go from broke to blessed. Suddenly, your life will change. Becky Weaver, let me ask you, has your life suddenly changed? Amen. Even as you and I got connected, you got connected to our ministry, I got connected to your family, have you seen sudden blessings increase? Amen. And vice versa. Praise God. So join the Zoom webinar. It's totally free. And we would love to see you there. Thanks, Tyler. Love you too, my friend. Love you and your family. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, friends, love you. Keep us in prayer because we are heading out to our 10 revival in a few hours. So you can see that. Follow me at Route 66 Revival on Facebook. God bless you. Consider subscribing to our Facebook page, giving us a like, a follow. Thanks for your help, of course. We broke the 200,000 follow on Facebook. Praise God. That was about a month ago now. But, uh, Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and here on Facebook. God bless you. Shalom. We'll see you soon. Someone say double.